Hello and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, in the last episode, we started our big Canadian adventure, uh, exploring the Gulf Islands and then ultimately having a rough crossing uh, through the Strait of Georgia and then making our way up the Sunshine Coast uh, towards Lund. In this episode, we start in Lund and we spend a few days in Desolation Sound. Um, stopping uh, along here in Wooten Bay and then exploring further in Tenedos Bay and Milani Cove. Um, and then after that, we'll make some miles towards the Inside Passage, uh, stopping several places along the way, uh, but getting deeper into the Inside Passage, uh, ultimately ending up in a blind channel. The following videos are from this section of our trip, so please enjoy. Here we are, this is Sarah Point, which marks the official start of Desolation Sound. We've really been wanting to see this, and it's so smoky, you can't see anything. This is supposed to be like the most amazing part, the entrance is supposed to have these huge mountains on either side, marking the entrance, and all we see is smoke. And then Hopefully we'll head the up. wind takes some of the smoke away too. Yeah, we've had no, no wind. wind. No wind. That that is the the thick smoke out there. anchored here in this nice little bay and now we're trying to figure out how to do a stern tie to shore. This boat over here has got his anchor out and then his stern tie to shore. It's pretty tough to see. And then we zoom out. Ours is connected to our boat right here on this cleat. Then Mac took this line all the way out to shore, and there he is dealing with trying to figure out how to get us connected to shore with this line. But we decided to go ahead and release the stern tie that was here on the back. So we actually just tied a fender to it and just released it. And that was our first stern tie last night. <laughs> <laughs> that was our first anchor drag. So. And our first anchor drag. Exciting. Up at 3 a.m. last night doing all that. Woke up this morning here in this small little bay in Desolation Sound and found out there's no smoke today. This morning is really clear. There's Disco the billy goat on the front. We were so ready just to just to leave Desolation Sound because of the smoke, but um, with the clear skies, we decided to stay. So we're really happy we did because Tenedos Bay and Melanie Cove, as you'll see, were really amazing places. Here's what Desolation Sound looks like without any smoke. Just cleared last night, thank goodness. There's some wind. And there's wind to boot. You can 
can see us going through that small passage you just saw and winding past a bunch of other boats and uh, going all the way into the back bay and in the into Melanie Cove. Thursday night happy hour. Got some beers, some drinks, some chess, good company, nice views. Yeah, things are good. We're hiking in Jurassic Park. That's what it feels like. We're actually, actually just at the head of Melanie Cove in Desolation Sound. Layover day. Disco's taking it to heart. <laughs> Jenny's doing our route planning. Lots of charts to compare. I'm uh, working on some uh, some video stuff here for the blog. It's our first rainy day. First rainy day, yeah. Three weeks. You can see. It's... Views are still nice. Saying goodbye to Desolation Sound. We had a great five days there and maybe we'll come back uh, on the way back. Going through the inlet of Gorge Harbor. We're leaving. We just left Gorge Harbor. Now we are motoring over to Harriet Bay. So Max is having his morning cup of coffee. He's on watch. He's got the uh, autopilot on down there. Whoops, Very right there. Conditions. Dogs doing what she does best. I'm sitting here on the stern. And we are currently not sailing because there's only 0 0.7 knots of wind right now. It's crazy because Gorge Harbor where we just left is really protected, but we had a really pretty windy night here and there. And so we thought, oh yes, we'll definitely be able to sail today. And it was looking pretty good until we got out here in the strait and then the wind just died, which is really weird. So, it's time for fishing, relaxing, enjoying the views out there, and drinking coffee. The wind picked up. Now we've got the full mane up, and the jib's out. Max has been busy doing all the, working the sheets, raising the mane. Now we're seeing if we can also catch some fish while we sail. I am driving us to our next destination, which is Surge Narrows, one of the rapids we're going through. This morning we saw whales out there. We could just see their spout and tail fin. Hopefully we'll see more as we head up closer to the Broughtons. It's a waterfront general store. 
How about that? And Mac is fixing something. It looks like it's the uh, the spare vent to the bathroom. Yeah, because our other one broke, and we have a composting toilet, so that fan is critical for getting the smell and the moisture out. Needs to say, it smells awful down there right now. And then my infinite wisdom in trying to retrofit this to our broken one, I broke this one, so. Yeah, just assembling this to hopefully fix this to boat life 101 fixing stuff log stuff drinking a beer life aboard Maya is soldering is that right soldering, soldering yep and drinking a beer <laughs> it's yeah. boat life boat life the, the toilet, um, the fan that vents it is like broken, so it, it smells, like smells like an outhouse. It smells like a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> we have an outhouse in our boat. Yeah, it's like three feet from our faces, like when we're <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> yeah, there's our bed, there's the bathroom. Very close. <laughs> Way too close. So. <laughs> I swear I could smell it last night. Yeah, sleeping. It's, Gross. We're gonna fix this tonight. I hope so. All right, so here's the fan situation. This is the broken one. And here's our jerry-rigged new one. Now, it's not pretty, but you can see this. This goes to the toilet. And <laughs> this is venting it right now, so it's it's not pretty but it's doing the job, a very, very important job. Made it past two more rapids, lower and upper rapids, and now we're weathering some rain. Got the Fowleys on. Yes, nice and warm. Got mine on, all suited up. Now we're about to hit Johnstone Strait for the first time. Just go to the storm here. Yeah, it's just high and dry. And the Dodger. We got some weather here. Good wind, but it is wet. This is our first taste of Johnstone Strait, which is notorious for being just kind of rough. See, we're blowing a solid 20. Um, we've got a reefed main, and that's it. Up, and we're we're going with the current at seven point, you know, around seven knots, which is really fast for our boat. Here we are in Blind Channel Resort at the dock, filled up on water. Powered everything. said it's 800 years old. It's one old tree. Here's the size of the current. It's like a big river out there. Look, they can't even. These guys don't go nearly as fast. I don't know. I've, I've seen... 
All right, so that about does it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, join us next time as we get further into the Inside Passage. Um, we're going to Sydney Bay, and then we'll be tackling the infamous Johnstone Strait. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Cheers.